The moment this chopper made its debut, enemy nightmares began. This is the RAH-66 Comanche, the helicopter that tried to bring F-117 style stealth to the battlefield. And honestly, it almost pulled it off. You know how the F-117 Nighthawk was nearly invisible to radar? Well, Comanche took that same idea and made it fly low, slow, and deadly. Radar signature, just 1% of a normal helicopter. That's on par with the F-117. Infrared signature, 15 times lower. Noise? six times quieter. It didn't just sneak in, it disappeared. Top speed, over 200 miles per hour. For a chopper, that's flying in the fast lane. Weapons, oh, plenty. It had an internal bay for six Hellfire missiles or 12 stingers, so it could stay stealthy while still packing heat. Need more firepower? Add eight more Hellfires, 16 stingers or 56 rockets externally. And yeah, it had a 20 millimeter cannon with 500 rounds for anyone who got too close. But here's where it gets wild. It could stay hidden and remotely guide other aircraft's missile strikes strikes, basically directing the battle without showing its face. Just like the F-117 was built to slip into radar-heavy airspace, the Comanche was made to ghost Soviet tanks in Europe. It was supposed to sneak and strike, while the Apache went full beast mode up front. But then the Cold War ended, the tank battles never came, and stealth became less useful when drones got cheaper, faster to deploy, and didn't require pilots. After 21 years and $8 billion, the US built just two Comanche prototypes, then quietly walked away. So here's the real question. Was the Comanche a genius idea ahead of its time, or just an $8 billion ghost story. Let's hear your take in the comments.